Hey everybody, welcome back to Drinks with Dave, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite classic cocktail recipes, the sidecar. Now you've probably heard of this drink, but you might not have ever had it, and you might not have ever made one. And even though this drink is 100 years old, and it's got that classic cocktail vibe, don't be intimidated because it's got simple ingredients that anybody can find. And anybody can make this drink. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more recipes and tricks to help you mix. Now let's go build a sidecar. Right, the exact origins of the sidecar are kind of unknown, but it is thought to have originated in either Paris or London around the end of World War I. Now, the two most common competing origin stories would be that the drink was created by a celebrated bartender in London at a place called the Bucks Club. But I happen to like the other story, which places the origin in France, and it was created by an American army captain who named it after his motorcycle sidecar that he rode on. So I think that's fun, and so I'm going with that. Now the version I'm gonna be making for you guys today comes directly from the Savoy Cocktail Book. This is kind of like the bartender's Bible. And it says one quarter lemon juice, one quarter Cointreau, and one half brandy. So that's a two to one to one ratio. The sidecar is kind of one of those weird drinks that you've gotta get it exactly right. Otherwise it can be just a little too tart or a little too boozy, a little too dry or a little too sweet. But even being as old and sort of classic vibey as it is, it's super approachable. And you don't have to go all over the world to search out obscure ingredients. And every once in a while you come across one of these classic drinks and it's got some weird liqueur that, you know, you have to go to France to get or you've got to know somebody. <laughs> And, uh, and this just isn't one of those drinks. So speaking of ingredients, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're using to make the sidecar. All right, for this cocktail, we're gonna be using brandy, cognac if you've got it, Cointreau, fresh lemon juice, and turbinado sugar. Now the brandy I'm using today is just your average Christian Brothers brandy. I didn't have any cognac on hand, and this is perfectly fine. I mean. If you ordered one of these cocktails from somebody at a bar and you didn't call for anything special, you're probably going to get something very similar to that. And it's not bad at all, really. The Cointreau is going to act as the sweet in the drink and it's going to give a nice deep orangey flavor as well as pack a little booze punch. The lemons will provide the sour and the turbinado sugar we will go ahead and put on the rim. So I wasn't kidding. This is just a couple of ingredients. Super easy to make. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, to make the classic sidecar, start with your mixing tin. And we're gonna add two ounces of our brandy. One ounce of your Cointreau. And next is our sour or our citrus for this drink. We're gonna be using fresh lemon. Just go ahead and give that a nice cut. We're gonna squeeze in one nice full ounce of the fresh lemon juice. This is a very, very strong lemon. Come on. Oh. What the hell? <laughs> and we'll add the one ounce of lemon juice to the tin. And we'll just add our ice to the shaker tin. Once our ice is in, Give it a good shake. Ooh, icy cold. Now for the fun part, grab yourself a nice chilled vessel and we are going to sugar rim. Now make sure you don't get sugar on the inside of the cocktail. We just want it on the rim. So we'll grab a little bit of lemon and just put it around the outside. Grab our turbinado sugar and then we'll just give it a little roll being very careful to just get it on the outside I like to do just part of the glass that way it gives people the option to have the sugar or not have the sugar then we'll just go ahead and strain the cocktail off and it should have a nice kind of yellow orange color like golden and for a garnish I like to use one of my dehydrated lemon wheels that simple. I told you this was going to be really easy. Anybody could make this. Three ingredients, a little sugar, and a garnish. And that, my friends, is a classic sidecar. Really is a pretty drink, too. It's just got that golden hue. 
Oh yeah. Uh, it's very boozy, you know, two parts brandy, one part Cointreau. Both of those are full 40% alcohol spirits. The lemon helps to kind of lighten it from, from the brandy and you get that deep, rich orange flavor from the Cointreau. If you are willing to try a classic cocktail and you're nervous about which one to pick, I highly recommend starting with the sidecar. Oh, and don't forget, if you liked what you saw today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button or like, or again, leave a comment. That really, really helps with what I'm trying to do here. And I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much. I couldn't do this without your support. And a very special thank you to my top tier investors, Kate, Pat, Lori, Kathy, and Stan. You guys are the best. Thank you very much. Cheers.